Hello there, folks. I'm Joe Wazoo here today. I've got a friend of mine, uh, Dennis, requested uh, how to make a screensaver uh, that might uh, oscillate through the screen and so forth, uh, much like uh, a guy named Windows, Bill Gates does. So here I've got a HMI right here on the web. You currently see that uh, it's oscillating through some different pictures and it's randomly picking placement on the screen. So if I click on this anywhere, boom, it immediately takes me to the display page that's up and running. And if I sit here and put in some numbers, of course, I put in the same number. That was stupid. Let's put in something bigger. <laughs> and and it, so I'm sitting here playing with this and got it working. And if I let this thing sit for 30 seconds of inactivity, uh, the screensaver should kick on. So we'll let that go. We'll come back to this. This is a browser. We'll come back to this. Let me go show you how I built this. So first off, I got a display page over here called Screensaver. And what I did here, team, is uh, I went ahead uh, and let me see if I can show this. Let me double click on this here. So I went ahead and created a animated image, which means that in core primitives, I drug this on the page, this IMG, I drug this out on the page, double clicked on it. <clears throat> I made the image count 10. And when I did that, I got 10 black boxes here, empty picture boxes right here. And I went over to Symbol Factory and went into People and I found these different pictures. And I just randomly grabbed different pictures and drug them in here. That's all I did. No big deal uh, there. But I'm using a function here called Random 10. This is going to generate a number between 0 and 10 because I have nine. Well, I have 10 images, 0 through 9. So that will create a random that will show these off. I got the maintain aspect set to yes. If I do no, it uh, makes it based on the scale. Some of you left to yes. So that's the image that's on the screen. And let me back up a little further. So that's the image right there. And then I went a step further is on that image, I clicked on it and I went to the behavior pull down and I added a 2D movement. Actually, I'm sorry, I did a polar movement in this case. And when I do polar movement, if I double click on it then, I get the angle and the radius of the movement. So what I did, uh, I used a function over here in the system. There's a function called get up down data, and that generates an up down number. Uh, and you can use discount, and then you put the limit in there. So for the angle, 360 degrees angle, I'm using that there to go 360 different degrees, and then the radius. I'm going between zero and 100 here for the radius here. And so that's what I'm doing there. So that is operating that particular thing there. And then if I show you here, let's go back to this page here. So here's the main page that's running. If I right click on this and go to properties, you're going to see that after 30 seconds, let's make this a little smaller. How about that? Let's make it 15 seconds of inactivity. I do a go to page and I type the name of that page called screensaver. So what that does is theoretically that will navigate to that next page. So it goes over here. So then this is running on that page. Um, everything's great, but if somebody taps the screen, I need a way to get back to the main page, if you will. So my trick here in that case, what I end up doing to make that happen, let me escape since I clicked on that, is I went over here and I grabbed, say, a rectangle, for instance. Clicked on this, doesn't matter which one, and I'll click and drag this guy out here like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, maybe I won't, I got a new mouse, it's really finicky. So I'm going to drag it over there like that. I'll double click on this guy to go to properties. For this example, I want to, I'm going to go to the edge and I'm going to give it a border, say five, and change it to red. That way at least I can see it. I'll go back to the figure tab and uh, I'm going to eventually make this no fill, but I want to add the action tab. The action tab, I mean, is somebody taps on this and it closes the screensaver and takes it back to the other page. So let me click OK here. And then I'll right click on this big yellow box, and go down here to the third from the bottom, add action. And on the action, hit the pull down and say, you know what? I want you to go to page. I'm going to go back to the finish gauge page. So hit the pull down here and go back to finish gauge. Please don't use previous and next. I've never had luck with those. Always declare exactly where to go. So I'm going to go finish gauge. And now that I've done that, if I go to the figure tab, I'm going to make this guy have no fill. I want to make it completely transparent. But I got the red border, so I'll leave that alone. Click OK. All right, so according to what we've done here, team, is after 15 seconds on this page of inactivity, it'll go to this page. And then on this page, it'll stay up on display. And then on this page, uh, if I click anywhere, it should go back to here. 
Now, there's one catch to this. Now, there is one catch. Uh, the screensaver, in this case, um, will operate from here. If you want it to run from anywhere, let me think about something here. You may have to do like a global timeout. Uh, that might require a little more thinking on my end, but uh, right now I'm doing it from this particular page. When it times out, right here on properties, here on uh, timeout, I'm doing it right here. So I think theoretically you'd have to copy this to every page, to be honest with you. Anyway, let's go ahead and download this. Well, before I download, hold on. Let's see what our see our screen's already doing it. Look, if I click on it, boom, there it is. Let's go ahead and download this new test and see what happens. Hold on, let me go back to here because that other one had red border. Let me let me double click on this box here. Ah, maybe I won't. Hold on, let me go here and uh, let's change this edge not to red because that's what the other one was. Let's change this one to to yellow, for instance. There we go. Make it a little bigger. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and download this to the screen. Say yes. I made a different identifier, so that's okay. Let's see what happens here, folks. Maybe. Okay. So there's up and running. And uh, I'm going to go put in my values here, what I was playing with the other day for another person. And let's say this guy's at 75, so you can see the gauge moves. Take it to 35, and there it is in yellow. I was doing a bunch of things with some different colors, but oh well, 12. Okay, so let's let this sit for 15 seconds. No activity. I'm not going to click on anything or touch anything. I can move my mouse because I'm using the web browser, but uh, let's see what happens after 15 seconds of inactivity. Look, immediately went to this page, exactly what I wanted, a screensaver. And by the way, you can use your company logo here. I just haven't been using pictures of people, but you can most certainly drag in your company logo. And now if I click anywhere on this page, so if I was in front of the real screen, click, boom, takes me back to this page. And if I let it sit for 15 more seconds, it'll go back to that screensaver. Just a quick little demo on how to do this. Hey, thanks a lot, folks. Have yourself a great day. I'm teaching class today, by the way, which makes it a great day in my mind. Anyway, see you later. There it goes. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's really cool.